Hey guys, I want to do a quick video to show you some of the size difference of these two Thunder machines that I have. I'm actually fortunate enough to have two machines. This one is the Thunder 63. I got it about a little over a year and a half ago. And then this is the Thunder 35. I got it maybe about eight months ago. And so a lot of people are talking on the message boards, you know, what's the best size to get, 35, 51, or 63? So I don't have the 51, but I want to show you why I like having these two complementary with each other. So let's take a look at the 63 right now. Uh, it needs to be, definitely needs to be clean. But the bed size you're going to work with is around 60, let's call 64. I think the cutting size that they tell you is like 63, but... 64 and about 40. So you can get some nice size sheets in here and it's got a really nice Z depth. If we come over and we look at the 35, the exterior is pretty much the same. You're gonna have the same type of uh, chiller on the side as you do on the larger machine. Basically the only difference is the size of the bed. But again, this one's fairly new, but it needs to be cleaned as well. So if we look at this bed size, of a cuttable area, you're looking at maybe 37, 37 by 24, let's call it that. This is a nice size bed. I really use this one for most of my day-to-day -day stuff. Most of my cutting boards, uh, my cup engraves, uh, shout out to uh, Pyburn Rotary. Uh, most of my cups are all done in here. I really like this size just because I don't have to reach so far. And what I mean by that, you see how they have a Rita controller? You can raise and lower this thing, but you can, you're standing close to it enough to raise and lower. If we go over to the 63, I'm sometimes stretching this far. Now there is a, uh, a wireless remote and that's what I need to get for that. But some of us have kind of joked about having the, the far arm stretch. That's what I mean. So that's what I like about having done this one for my everyday jobs. What I want to show you guys is the, really the big difference in the beds. And I think one really good illustrative way to do that is to just take the honeycomb out and throw it in here and you can see the, the bed size difference. The nice thing about these machines is you can take these honeycombs out. I say that easily. Let me see get it out. I just want to show you the size difference and why I wanted a big laser. Check out the size difference in that. So for me, being able to do large jobs, it was worth getting this big machine and it's paid off for sure. Um, I'm able to do a lot of jobs that a lot of local people that have the 35 size bed can't do. Um, so large benches, big signs, I can throw a big, sh I can actually do, I've done up to a 59 inch side cutout for, um, for a backdrop. So I love having the big size here. That's why I think I would recommend to somebody who was new looking for a machine if they wanted kind of a one size fits all to probably really look at the 51. I think the 51 is a nice sweet spot um, for size. And uh, But anyway, I just want to wrap it up here and just show you the difference between the two size machines because I think it's kind of a neat opportunity that I have to be able to show you both. And you guys have a great day and keep on hustling.